All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Shamir J. So it's time to talk about the Pixel 7, the 599 King. Uh, there is a lot of devices that would, would love to have that title. Uh, and I'm just kind of throwing that out there because I know that sparks a nerve for some of you guys. You guys get start heated and start instantly. You don't even watch the video. You start typing. That's not the best. The best phone is this. Well, the best phone is the one that you're holding, whatever you think is the best. I personally think this phone is offering so much. It's so sleek. It's just, it's a beautiful, a beautiful device, man. Now, I've had this for six months. Um, Google sent over the the 7 Pro, and I picked up the 7. So, Team Pixel was sent out the 7, the Pro models, and I picked up the 7 afterwards. Um, it's worth $599 for sure. This is probably, uh, you know, just a, a device that, that many would argue is probably the best value but I still stand firm on my word that uh, I have to take my, my case off. But I stand firm on my word that the 6A is probably my favorite of them all for a number of reasons. Uh, this is probably the best value you could probably get in an Android phone at the moment from where I sit. If you want support and software and just some of the best cameras, that's probably going to be it over there. Uh, but I do like the Pixel 7 six months later. It gets used in a bunch of different ways. And I'll talk about Android 14 as well, because I'm on Android 14 on these pixels from the beta. So um, it gets used by me uh, on in different occasions. So predominantly, this is used on the second or third line, um, being transparent. My primary line right now is holding either the Sony Xperia Pro I, it's holding this phone, or it's holding the S23 Ultra. The plus is um, the the S23 plus I'm recording with is being used on my middle line at the moment. So the 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 as far as the network goes, I've tested it on Google Fi and T-Mobile. Haven't tested it on any other networks, uh, but it's been solid. I mean, I don't I don't have any complaints about call quality and signal. I love all the Google Pixel features, though. I love call screen. Call screen has got to be one of the coolest. It's still to this day. I mean, it's a cool feature. I don't use the eraser feature much. The Google Now is releasing that on all Pixels. I don't use that feature as much as I thought I would, but I have used it. There's been some occasions where I'm out with family and I want to take a photo and I'm at a, a restaurant and there's people in the background. I've erased them. I just thought that was so cool. And then when I show pe my people I'm with, they're like, oh, snap, where'd the people go? So, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, but um, nonetheless, the overall experience with the Pixel 7, if you bought this phone, you should be getting your money's worth. Uh, I don't hear any really any complaints about uh, the Pixel 7 much from, from anybody. People seem to love this device. They're not reporting a whole bunch of bad things on it, so to speak, or battery drain or just screen flicker. The, the things that people that might happen to a person when they have a device, uh, they're not reporting any of this. So at least I haven't seen. Like in my comments section, I go back and I reference... Uh, when I'm going to reference a device, I want to see what people are saying over the last three to six months if, if I'm following up like that. And I don't see very many negative things or people not liking this device. It's doing very well. So I have the Obsidian. I've got the Obsidian to match what Google sent over. Google sent over the the uh, the dark color like this for the Pro. So I went ahead and just got the twin and, and, and just got it. So hardware on this thing is, to me, just absolutely great. Here is the A54 from Samsung um, in my testing phase for this. But this phone just doesn't, uh, this phone is, is about 450 or so. Uh, it's a great phone, but it doesn't feel uh, as, as premium uh, as this. I would consider this to be a flagship. Uh, some of you guys pointed out in my, my Samsung video about the chip in there and it not being a flagship. I'll follow up on a Samsung video for that. But this is for sure one of Google's flagships. And I absolutely love, love, love this hardware. Uh, I love the bar on it. It protrudes a little bit more now from, this, from the 6A uh, to this. Because the 6A is one of their newer devices. This one pops out a little bit more, a little bit more pronounced than the 6A. And that's how it is on the Pro as well. Uh, but I do like the design of this this device. Uh, the Obsidian Black is, is so nice. It's, it's so sleek. Uh, but there is a drawback to that because you have a very slippery device. And so, but I wanted to take off the skin on this one. It just looks so good, man. And I was like, I'm not wearing a case or anything. I was wearing a case. I was like, when I use this, I'm just not going to wear a case. Uh, and it's just such a sleek device. I love the brushed aluminum style sides. And then the glossy back doesn't, I don't, I don't need a glossy back. 
but this is the way they're doing it and to, to tie in with the camera bump. It's, it's just a nice, sleek, sexy piece of hardware. It is really, really nice. So I love the screen on here. I like that, that Google is giving a really nice screen resolution on here. They're giving a nice premium viewing experience um, because this isn't a small phone by any means. Um, the, the screen on here definitely is going to please many. This is a, a, a not a small device. It's not. It's, it's small comp when you talk about today's tech world. But to the rest of the world, this is a big screen. This is a big screen. To the, rest of, to the rest of the world, this is a ginormous display. And and I see why. It's a beautiful display, great for watching content, great for doing all your social media, uh, watching YouTube, watching your favorite YouTube creators like Jay Will, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's good that you can have a nice size screen to watch your content. I think it's really nice. And I can appreciate what they're doing here. So the screen, the hardware, the speakers on here are actually really solid. Uh, and, you know, this is, again, this is just a follow-up. This is a follow-up. I'm going to talk about Android 14 in just a second here. <clears throat> but, you know, when, when you have videos like this six months later, has this phone been dropped? Of course it has. How much of the time of me using this was it in a case? It's been in a case for about a third of its life. It, it recently came out of the case. It was on and off, and I kept it in the case for, for easily two months when I would go outside. But now, I've just been taking it out. I was like, because... The reason I, I did that, because I know it could stand the possibility of breaking, but I dropped my S23 Ultra with no case on the concrete, and there was not a mark on it. I freaked out. I was like, oh, it slid out of my pocket, and I was like, oh, man, this is a wrap. It's done. But that big old phone can survive. I know this one. I mean, the sides on it are not scratched at all. So I was like, you know what? And I really like to feel um, my my cases, or my, my the print, I mean, the feel of the device. I'm one of those people I don't wear a case inside the house, but outside the house, I put on a case. And lately I've been I've been rocking phones with no cases. I just want to see and feel the hardware, you know, flat on, just like this. You'll never get this feeling while you're wearing a case. So, you know, overall, you know, I think this is a, a very solid package. And you you have a lot here for $5.99. And then when you can catch this phone on sale. It's just a win. There's no reason to buy anything else. And, and I know there's a lot of people out there who don't switch phones like you see uh, content creators doing or reviewers doing. You don't switch it up like that. You have, even us, we have phones that we stick with indefinitely while we're reviewing other devices. It's just some devices come in, they're just that, review devices. Uh, but I try to at least use them in my primary SIM slot for at least a week or two to get. It's tough. I'm not going to front and say, oh, it's easy. No, it's tough. It's tough to leave something that I really like and then see if I'm going to bring in a new device and test it out and, and, and uh, see how I'm going to use it for a week or two. That's a long time for me as a creator to switch from something that I'm used to using and going on to something else. Sometimes, sometimes if the device turns out to be really good, then I'm hooked. So uh, overall, folks, if you bought this device, uh, even current day or, or you know, if you bought it a long time ago, you are pretty much winning. You, you're in a place where you didn't spend a lot of money uh, and you got a killer device and you're still on top because there's rumors of the Pixel 8 coming already. Pixel 8 Pro, the design's going to change, all these different things. The rumors start spinning on devices right after the, the device is launched. So I'm not surprised that, you know, the, the rumors are starting to spin for this one. This is about six months in. So the rumor mill has been spinning for quite a bit of time now, but in the last uh, 30 days or so, or 45 days, pictures are starting to come out of the newer versions of these devices. And so I'm curious to see what Google's going to do. Now let's talk about Android 14. I decided to go ahead and switch to beta software on these devices. And if you see here, um, my my Pixel 7 Pro is on the charger. And here's what happened. Like, So there are some bugs I found. So when I swipe down, I can press this button right here easily on this device. Uh, on 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 the Pixel Seven Pro, it was it was crashing. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't allowing me to do it. And that's not going to do it while, I'm, while it's charging up, but it wasn't allowing me to push that button. So I didn't think anything of it. So when I went to sleep. Uh, both of these were fairly charged at a, at least sixty percent or so. This one was at seventy, I believe, and this one was at sixty something. So when I got up, this one was completely dead. And so I was like, man, it completely drained for no reason. And they were sitting right here. 
Uh, even with battery saver on, that Pixel 7 Pro died. So something's going, it's, it's beta software. Uh, at night sometimes, I'll turn on battery saver for the phones that I don't I don't have a SIM card in, just that when I get up, I want to use them for something. Because I use these, and I didn't forget, I use these these phones for obviously the, the main reason, uh, one of the, the cameras. These are still top-notch, hands down, one of the if not google's the best at taking photos it's no way to say i i i and, and that's for me i'm not trying to push that narrative off to anybody else or onto anybody else i'm just saying for me i've learned that i when i start taking portrait shots or just photos these cameras are just the go-to like thumbnail shots even when i go into canva and edit it most of the shots are probably going to come from a pixel because google's proven themselves their ai is off the charts They've learned to integrate their hardware and software to give you the best camera experience ever. Now, I haven't been experienced at the beginning. Some, a lot of people have, uh, you know, have problems with um, uh, heating and things like that. I, there's none of that. That's all gone. There, there's nothing. Uh, as a matter of fact, look, <laughs> the last photo I took was of my S23 Ultra in blue. I, I run to this camera for for photos. It's just just what it is. So you do have 10 bit on here, uh, HDR. HDR is, to me, I'm more impressed with it on my iOS so prop, uh, software. I don't know why that is. It seems to struggle a little bit. The I'm talking about like the afterwards, like when I'm watching it on, on an HDR display. I like the way it looks from iOS software better than Google software and Samsung. I've been transparent about that for I don't know how long. I've always said that. But that doesn't mean that this is bad. That's just a preference. But... If you decide you want to shoot HDR, I think you're going to be impressed with what you see. Now, if this is your device, you'll probably say it's phenomenal because you'll be used to. When, just remember this: when you're shooting content or watch, excuse me, when you're watching content, it was shot on something that was probably really powerful, but you're watching it on a major downgrade. Like if you're watching it on your cell phone screen, all this I, I could line up five cell phone screens right now and play the same video and they're all going to have a different color contrast to it. they're going to they're just going to look different in colors that's just how it goes so with the pixel the display is beautiful but the footage from hdr that comes out of here and obviously this is uh, nitpicking a lot of people don't use hdr that much but i like to use hdr when i can and i love cinematic video when i can so um when you're looking at HDR content on a display, they're all going to look different. But for me, again, I just like I just prefer the way it comes out. And, and what I was going to say was when you're looking at um, HDR content, it's being recorded on something and then you're watching it on something else. So while Google's attempt at HDR is really solid, you know, there's still improvements to be made. You're never at this finish line when you're when you're a company. You shouldn't be. You should never hit a finish line because then you're just throwing in a towel and you're basically saying you can't innovate anymore. And I don't see Google as that company. Um, Android 14, for me, on the 7, the beta has been fine. No problems whatsoever. But on the Pro, um, it, you know, I've found a couple of bugs like that. Other than that, it's been it's been great, man. Um, I don't have any quarrels about Android 14. I know it's beta software. Ran into a couple people in my group and they were saying, you know, oh, I think one person said it was it wasn't usable for him. And I'm running 14 and smooth on my 7 and 7 Pro. Just those couple little things with the with the Pro models. Other than that, everything's been fine, man. So the Pixel 7, six months later, um, we need these types of videos. And I didn't just per power this on and give you this video. I've been using it all weekend and last week. So mm -mm, this is about a, maybe five days straight of using this. Uh, since the original time from using it every day, because I want to see if something's going to break out. You, you don't know. I want to see how many charge cycles, how long it's going to last off the charger. And, and for me, this phone is still lasting, obviously longer off the charger because it's not getting as much use, but in regular use, I was able to make it through a full day and then some, and it's still happening that way. So, um, putting my main SIM card back in here is always good. People who bought this, this is the phone that, you know, a lot of people feel like they have to have the pro. But I, I tell you, you don't have to have the Pro. You just don't have to have it. If you want some of the perks that come with buying the Pro, knock yourself out. But I think you'll be plenty happy with this version right here. It's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoy. Six months with the Pixel 7. I wonder if seven months will be something different. 
I, I don't think so. I, <laughs> I don't think I'll follow up next month. I, I might. I don't know. If Android, if the 14 beta starts to really kill my phone, then I'm going to have to switch back and give you a follow-up video on that. But overall, I am totally pleased with what I'm experiencing here with Google and the Pixel 7 lineup. And the Pixel 7 lineup, this entire lineup right here that they brought out, um, this, in, this entire lineup that Google gave us, these three phones are Google's latest phones. So at the recording of this video, so, you know, this entire lineup, that they brought out this time smashed everything. Everybody who has something bad to say about Google, they, they, they answered you right here. You, you didn't have anything else to say, simply put. They shut you up with this one. So it's your man Jay, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. The Pixel 7 is um, a winner.